Okay, so we're going to look at uh, work to do with polygons, and they tend to be regular polygons, but they don't necessarily have to be. So we're going to remind ourselves that uh, a polygon has a interior angle, so an inside angle, and they have exterior angles. Now the exterior angle we need to remember is the angle that's turned to go from facing one direction on one side to turn to face down the other side. So the exterior angle isn't the reflex angle, it's the acute angle that's caused by going round there. So that's the exterior angle. And we should have in mind three formulas really to do with polygons all the time and those are if they're regular polygons and this formula only works for regular polygons so regular remember means all the sides are the same length and the, all the angles are the same uh, size so for regular polygons the exterior angle equals 360 degrees divided by the number of sides n so n is defined as the number of sides There's also, um, for all polygons, there is a formula for interior angle plus exterior angle and that always equals 180 degrees. Um, angles on a straight line that meet to point add up to 180 degrees. So for all polygons, interior angle plus exterior angle equals 180 degrees. And again, for all polygons, there's a quick way of finding the sum of all interior angles. So the sum of all interior angles equals n take away 2 times 180 degrees. Now the n take away 2 is all about the number of sides again and the idea there is if for example you wanted to find the number of degrees in a quadrilateral, a four-sided polygon, then we can split the polygon up into two triangles and each of those has 180 degrees in them. Um, this quadrilateral has four sides, so 4 take away 2 is 2, 2 times 180 is, is 360 degrees, which is the angles uh, inside a polygon added together. So the sum of all interior angles, n minus 2 times 180, interior angles plus exterior angles equal 180, and to find for regular polygons, and again this formula only works for regular polygons, then the exterior angle is always 360 degrees divided by n. So once we've got those formulas in our minds then we've got a chance of uh, trying questions like this because they're telling us here that the shape A, B, C, D, E, F, so six letters is a hexagon, but they're telling us it's a regular hexagon, so that means all the sides and angles are the same, and they're telling us that A, B, Q, P is a square, and they want us to calculate uh, the angle C, B, Q. So we follow the letters C, B, Q, and they're telling us that the angle we want is here. So what we need to work out then is this angle here. Well, we know it's a square, so the interior angle of a square must be a fact, we all kind of know. So that's going to be 90 degrees straight away. So what would be nice to know is this angle here. And this angle happens to be an interior angle. So if I can calculate the exterior angle using the regular polygon formula, then I can use the fact that those two angles are at 180 to find the angle here because they're all the same because it's a regular shape. So the exterior angle equals 360 degrees divided by the number of sides which happens to be 6. So 60 degrees. Therefore the interior angle must equal 180 degrees minus that 60 degrees so 120 degrees. So we now know that this angle here is 120 degrees. We then recognize there's a quick way of finding a missing angle when we know that we're dealing with angles around a point. So we can say that x degrees is equal to 360, the sum of all angles. So x degrees equals 360 minus the 120 minus the 90 degrees and 360 take away 120 240 240 take away 90 is um, well 240 take away 100 is 140 but I want to take away so 10 more so that's going to be 150 degrees so the answer for X will be 150 degrees 
Uh, we could do a back check. 120 plus 90 plus 150. 0. 5 and 9 is 14. 2 is 16. 1 over. 1, 2, 3. 360 degrees. <coughs> so our back check works that the angles did up to 360 degrees around uh, the point. So these are the formulas then that we need to remember for shapes that involve polygons. Uh, regular ones, exterior angle equals 360 degrees plus, uh, so divide by the number of sides. Uh, the sum of the interior angle and the exterior angle is always 180 degrees. And the sum of all interior angles is n minus 2, the number of sides take away 2, times 180 uh, for the number of triangles you can create inside a polygon. So that's one type of question on polygons. So here's another one. Well, this question says that it's a diagram showing part of a regular, again it's this idea of regular, all the sides and angles are the same, uh, of a ten-sided polygon. So we're going to work out the size of the angle marked X. Well, they're suggesting that X here is the interior angle. So what would be nice to know is the exterior angle. Because then we've got a simple way, because a regular polygon, of finding the interior angle. So the formula for exterior angles of a regular polygon is 360 divided by the number of sides. So in this case it's 360 degrees divided by 10. So 36 degrees. And because the interior angle plus the exterior angle equals 180 degrees rule, I can say that the x is 180 minus 36 degrees. So 180 degrees minus 36 degrees is 144 degrees. So the interior angle of a regular ten-sided polygon, which just happens to be called a decagon, so the interior angle would be 144 degrees. So another type of uh, question that involves uh, these polygons uh, is we've got here a regular pentagon. Again, it's that word regular uh, we need to keep looking out for and it's talking about a five-sided uh, shape because uh, pentagon five sides and it's telling me that there's a triangle attached to the side here and I've got to work out the size of angle DFE so we need to identify where that is so DFE always the middle letter so this is our unknown angle so I'm just going to call it X uh, for unknown um, it would be nice then if we knew this angle here and we knew this angle here because we then know that angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. That would be one way of doing this problem. So if we can work out that um, this is the exterior angle, let's see if it is. So if we follow this shape round, we have to go round to the other side, it is the exterior angle, so that's quite nice. So we know the rule for exterior angles of a regular polygon is equal to 360 degrees divided by the number of sides, which in this case is a five-sided shape so 72 degrees. So we now know that that's 72 degrees and if we come this way around from the polygon we can see again that we had to turn this amount of degrees to go back up the other side so again that will be the exterior angle. Well we've already just worked that out, that's 72 degrees. So we know that angles in a triangle add up to 180 so we can say that the angle X is going to be 180 minus the 72 degrees minus the other 72 degrees so that gives us uh, 36 degrees. So the answer for this question, 36 degrees. Again, it's about the regular polygons and recognizing that this is an exterior angle uh, because of the way that if we come down one side, we have to turn this amount of degrees to then come down the other side, known as the exterior angle. Um, another type of question that they ask is where they just give you a lot of words and they're telling you here that the size of each interior angle of a regular polygon is 156 degrees. Uh, we've got to work out the number of sides of the polygon. So if we look at that carefully then, um, again we're talking about a polygon so we can imagine what's happening there. It's a straight sided shape and they're telling us that the interior angle is 156. So that means there must have been an exterior angle here, uh, the turn that we have to make to come back down the other side. So that's going to be from the rule of the interior plus the exterior equals 180 degrees for all polygons. Then this is going to be 180, take away 156, 24 degrees. So we've worked out that the exterior angle 
is equal to 24 degrees. Now the reason I wanted the exterior angle is because it's asking us to work out the number of sides of this polygon and I've realized that the regular polygon has a quick formula for the exterior angle is 360 degrees divided by the number of sides. I've now found out that the exterior angle is 24 degrees so I've got 24 degrees is equal to 360 divided by some number. Well whatever I had to do here to get 24 it's really saying how many 24s are there in 360 so we need to do the sum 360 divided by 24 and when we go through our times tables we find that the answer is 15 so the number of sides is 15 so it's a 15 sided shape and that's a summary of all the work that you could be expected to do with um, polygons one final question. Um, we've got a regular octagon here and we recognize that it says the diagram is not drawn accurately because this does look a little bit odd. We'd, rec we'd realize that if it was a true diagram all the sides would look totally identical. But because it's not drawn accurately and it's telling us it is a regular octagon then we know that this side is equal to this side. So when we see this question, it's telling us to work out the angle X. Well, we can recognize that this is part of a triangle where two sides are the same. So we should realize that isosceles triangle, two sides the same, length. So an isosceles triangle, base angles are equal. So in other words, if we said that this is X, then this also must be x. So if we could work out this angle here, then from the fact that we know that angles in a triangle are at 180 degrees, then we can uh, work out x by taking this angle away from 180 and then halving the answer. This angle here is the interior angle. It's a regular octagon. So again, I think about my rules. So the exterior angle would be a nice one to work out which is 360 degrees divided by n, the exterior angle being this angle here, the outside angle for the polygon to turn around to come around the other side. So that's the exterior angle. So if we can do this then, so 360 divided by 8 is 45 degrees. So now we know that this is 45 degrees, then there's another rule that says that the interior angle plus the exterior angle equals 180 degrees. So to get the interior angle, which is the one I want, I'm going to be doing 180 minus the 45 degrees, which was the exterior angle. So we get 135 degrees. So now we know that that here is 135 degrees. Well, from our rule of triangles for angles in triangles, then we can say that x is equal to 180 degrees minus the 135 degrees divided by 2. So 180 take away 135 is 45 degrees. 45 degrees halved is 22.5 degrees. So x is 22.5 degrees. So polygons, we need to remember the formulas. So we had that right at the beginning of this video. The idea being that regular polygons, the exterior angle is always equal to 360 degrees divided by n and we've got two other formulas to use for polygons. The interior angle plus the exterior angle is always 180 because its angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees and the sum of all interior angles, so in other words every inside angle of all polygons you can find from the formula n take away 2 times 180 degrees n take away 2, the number of sides take away 2 tells you the number of triangles you can create inside the polygon. Okay, so hopefully that's useful. Please let me know.